The Apple AirTags have been on the market for over a year now. And as part of Apple's expanded Find My application, there are now third-party trackers. In very typical Apple behavior, third-party solutions do not get the full Apple experience. What this means is you won't get the same precision. Instead, you'll get a mostly acceptable experience. Or at least, you should. To test out the Chipolo card spot, one of the most compelling options, a thin wallet finder that's compatible with the Apple Find My app, I took it to the Badlands of Oregon. As always, these opinions are 100% my own. I'm not sponsored in any shape or form. And just so we get a little bit of foreshadowing, it's going to be super apparent that I'm not sponsored by Chipolo. And since I'm feeling spoilerish, if this thing were cast in a Western, I'm pretty sure this would be an unnamed character that gets itself killed. I think I got a little carried away with that intro. Let's start off with what's good about the Chipolo card spot. It's about 2.4 millimeters thick, which is about the same size as two credit cards next to each other. It is not as small as some of the other solutions out there like what Tile offers. But if you're in this market, you're after that sweet, sweet Apple Find My integration. And its size because the Apple AirTags are kind of bulky. The volume of the device itself is adequate. I've heard louder, but it's enough to get the job done. One of the most appealing features of the Apple AirTags is the ability to get a distance reading by waving your phone around. You won't get this with this device. You will only get the ability to ping it, rough estimations of where it's located, and enable loss mode. As usual, Apple keeps the best for itself and doesn't open it up to third parties. Because let's be real, you do not need AirPods to be able to read back text messages. But I digress. So what is it exactly that I do not like about this device? Well, for starters, it just doesn't work. I keep trying to record my... I keep trying to record my... I keep trying to record my audio and this damn thing keeps going off. And I can't get it to show up on my iPhone. It's just right now, it is not connected. If you look right now, it still thinks this is many miles away, and this thing keeps beeping. I have no idea what's going on. And it continues to go off at really random intervals. Here I am, next to my wallet, and I cannot get it to beep. It stopped working after one goddamn week. In fact, it doesn't even know where my wallet is. It seems to think it's in Jacksonville, Oregon, which is a couple hundred miles away. To be fair though, I actually went there. That's just the last time it recorded its location. And if you're thinking maybe I just got a lemon, my coworker had the same experience. His lasted only mere days. He got a replacement and that one stopped working too. My unit still continues to beep randomly, Therein lies the problem. This thing stopped working after a mere week or two with me, and then after that, it just beeps intermittently. This makes this review pretty simple. Do not buy this thing. It doesn't work. And if it does, it's likely to fail. While not entirely ideal, there are AirTag solutions for wallets. Just running a quick search on Etsy reveals a lot of wallet holders and custom-made wallets with the AirTag in mind. This sucks because my wallet is already a little hefty despite being a slim wallet. Sadly, Tile has the best slim trackers, but I've refused to use them after they were acquired by Life360, a company that made a family safety app but turned around and sold that data on the open market. This means precision location data of entire families, including children. But they said they're now getting out of that business. By that, I mean they're only going to sell it to one data broker. Awesome, guys. Good job. Apple is hardly a saint, but their business model being built somewhat around privacy means there's a lot less incentive for them to misuse the data. The nice thing here, though, is Chipolo is not the only people in the Find My Game. 
there's most likely going to be another slim wallet tracker out there that actually works if there isn't one already. And when there is one, I'd like to review it. I had fun making this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.